Welcome back to On The Football. Today's detailed performance review is on the new UA Spotlight cleats. These were sent over from my partners at eastbay.com. If you guys saw the unboxing, you guys already know what these look like. So what I'm gonna do in today's video is, I'll still tell you about some of the technology in this cleat and what's different about it from the spotlights from last year. And I'm also gonna talk about some of the differences between the Nike Vapor Untouchable 3 Pro cleats as well as the Adizero 7.0s. Okay, so let's get into just the design of these Under Armour cleats. Again, these are the UA Spotlights. Now what Under Armour has done, just like a lot of the other brands, Nike and Adidas, I'm looking at them, what they've done is they've actually added a little cuff, a knit cuff into the silhouette of the cleat. So, you know, what does this do? If you guys have seen, um, you know, kind of the mids of the Adizeros, those have the cuff on it. The ones I have here, these ones I have here do not have uh, the cuff on it. You know, this is a sock liner, but it's not the cuff. The mids have an additional cuff in the Adizero line. Now, if you're familiar, with the Vapor Untouchable 3 Pro, Pro cleats, you know that these have the cuff on it as well. The Vapor Speeds don't. So now the spotlights. These are uh, kind of their, their low cleat, um, but it does have a little cuff on it. So it's not a mid, it is a low, but it does have this little knit cuff. Um, also on the cleat, they've updated the traction on here. And this is something that you know I liked in the unboxing. I was hopeful, and I'll tell you more about it uh, when I get to the what you're gonna love, what you're gonna like. And the trade-offs but they did change the traction they have conical studs at the top of the cleat they did add some blades on the interior side of it and then at the back they also have uh cones with blades so they've changed the way their traction works and it does work a little bit better um, versus what they've had before now in the upper they've changed that material and that now uses tpu yarn what that does is it brings down the weight of the cleat uh, it also makes it uh, a little more breathable, but it increases the durability. So it's durable, it's lightweight, um, and it's a little breathable. Now they have more knit in the upper. This is stretchy. You can see how much this stretches in the cleat, and that is to help give uh, a great fit to the cleat. Now this collar is stretchy as well. You can see just how wide this opens. So if you remember the Nike Vapor Untouchable Pro 2s from last year, it's really tough for a lot of you guys uh, who had those cleats to put your foot in. You're not gonna find that in this cleat um, because it does stretch so much. Now, the difference is if you have thinner ankles like I do, you don't really get the compression fit that you would want um, on the cleat. Um, so that is something that you're just not gonna have because it is a little wider. So it still uh, surrounds your foot. Again, similar to the Vapor Untouchable Pro's uh, three cleats where this really cuffs your ankle. Um, but I would say that this is a little bit tighter on your on your foot than what you're going to find in the spotlights so i do have some footage of this on i think hopefully you saw that in the beginning of the video started with that I'll probably splice it in here as well just so you could see how these look uh, on foot now there's two other major kind of updates to the spotlights that they made one is going to be on the padding on the achilles part uh, you can't really see it i'd really have to cut them apart for, to show you, but there is foam all around here. It's pretty thickly padded, and that's not something that Under Armour has had before. So it's gonna give you additional lock-in at the bottom of the cleat, even though you can't tell here. There's a heel counter inside that you can feel, but you can't see. And then the inside, these cleats, as a lot of Under Armour cleats, they've always been super comfortable, including the highlights. That is because they use something called super foam. It used to be 4D foam. They've updated it into a super foam. Now what I'm gonna do is talk about what you're really gonna love about this cleat, some things you're gonna like about the cleat, and then some of the trade-offs if you decide to purchase this cleat. Now as usual, I'm gonna include a link in the bottom of this video description of where you can purchase these cleats from eastbay.com. Now I gave you guys the overview of the cleat. Let's talk about what you're really gonna love about it. The first thing is gonna be the comfort in this cleat. Now as a speed cleat, you really wanna be low to the ground. That's something that the Add Zeros do, that's something that the Vapor Untouchable Pro 3s do, that's something that the Vapor Elites and the, the Vapor Speeds, all the Vapor Cleats do it. Um, so these are no different, you're still low to the ground. Now what's different here is they actually have this super foam insert that is removable. So this is removable. Um, you can look at the inside of the cleat, it's just the plastic right underneath it. Unlike some of the other cleats, uh, thinking about like Nike for example, Theirs is actually glued down. You can still remove it, but it's glued down. Now this is a different type of, of foam. It's just a little bit thicker. You can see how thick it is. I've actually pulled these out of a pair of vapors that I have. Um, you can see how thin this is. So here is, I'll put these back to back. 
so you guys can actually see the thickness. This is why the Under Armour cleats are so comfortable. This is a really good foam. Uh, not only is it comfortable, but it's still very responsive. If you think about um, some of the foams that are on the market, I think uh, Dr. Scholl's, for example, I've used those before. They do a really good job of cushioning, but they don't do a great job of rebound. And what you want is not just to absorb your energy, but you want that to go back into your foot to accelerate so that you are faster uh, you know, running off the cleat. So here again, uh, you've got the Nike version on this side. You've got the UA on this side. Um, that is the difference just in the thickness. So that is the first thing that you're really gonna love about the UA Spotlights. Now these cleats are really good because they fit true to size. And Under Armour, again, they traditionally have a very good tight fitting cleats. Um, you want zero space in a speed cleat. You don't want any uh, type of room at the toe or heel. You don't want any of that heel slip. You want that lock in. Under Armour does that. They fit true to size. I wear a 12. These are a 12. Uh, when I think about something like the Vapor Untouchable 3s, you know, I go between a, a 12 and uh, 11 and a half in the Pro 3s. The same thing in the Elites. The speeds, true to size. So um, depending on thick socks with the Vapors, it's a you know, hit or miss, 11.5 and 12. These are very true to size. Whatever your normal shoe size is, whether you wear in other athletic shoes, um, you're going to wear that in the UA Spotlights, whether you wear thin socks or thick socks. They wrap to your foot because of the nylon, uh, also because of the knit here in the upper part of it that stretches, and because of the way the lacing system works, you're really going to get a nice locked in uh, feel uh, to, to the cleat. Now, the toe box does have a little bit more room than the older Spotlight cleats. You can see the additional room here in the toe box, and you see how light it is. Um, because of the TPU. Now the older spotlights, they use more of a synthetic uh, material that was uh, still flexible, but just a little bit, uh, a little bit thicker. Um, you didn't have as much play in the toe box that gave uh, a more comfortable fit, um, at least for me. Now the last thing that you're gonna really love about this is the breathability, and a lot of that has to do with the TPU yarn. Like I said in the beginning, it's super thin, it's super light and super breathable. You've got all the breathability throughout the cleat, as well as down the middle. Um, so you can use this in any temperature. Uh, it's not exactly heat gear, but it is gonna feel good. Now there's a lot to like about these cleats when I think about compared to the spotlights from last year. This is definitely a better cleat. One, it's still gonna be light. It's gonna be a little lighter than last year. These weigh in at about 12 ounces. Now that's a little bit lighter than the Vapor Untouchable 3s, which are 13 ounces, and a little bit heavier, about three ounces heavier than the Ada Zeros, which weigh in at about 10 ounces. Now the next thing that you're really gonna like about this is the traction. I talked about the updates, and they're not as good as the highlights, like I said. They're not as good uh, as the Vapor Untouchable 3s. Um, they are similar to Adidas. When you look at the bottom of the Ada Zeros, uh, these use uh, conical studs. Um, they do have some triangulation to them, but for the most part, they are cones. At the back of the cleat, these use cones as well. Now, these have a, a little bit of blades. Uh, when you see these two uh, at the back here, and then on the medial side of the cleat, they use blades. So I would say these, the traction is comparable, uh, but I do like these just a little bit better. Uh, but of course, that's going to go along with the fit and how you personally feel in the cleat. Um, but that is something that you're going to like about these. I don't usually talk a lot about laces, but I particularly wanted to call these out because they do help give the, the fit. Um, these use flat laces, as you can see. Uh, so do some of the other cleats. But because not only are they flat laces, but when you look here, it actually kind of locks into the cleat. So you actually have to pull it, give it some pull to actually pull the cleat. And that actually helps with the locking of the cleat when you're lacing up. Uh, your cleats. I think a lot of you guys experience, you know, tying your cleat, but when you get to that bow section, it actually loosens the cleat. You're not going to have that in this, and it's a small thing that Under Armour did, but something to give you that additional lock-in. Now, these are offered in 11 different colors from eastbay.com, and they only charge $110. Now, that's $20 less than the uh, Vapor Untouchable Pro 3 cleats, and between $20 and $30 less than some of the Ada Zero 7s. Now there are three trade-offs, main trade-offs with this cleat that I have to tell you guys about because if you get these, you're going to want to know what you're giving up uh, when you get the UA Spotlights. Now the first thing is going to be the plate. The plate is quite a bit stiffer than the Spotlights from previous years. Now that's a good thing when you think about protecting you from injury, 
but it does take a while to break in and it is something that is going to make the cleat feel a little heavier than it actually is. Now Adidas does have softer plates um, when you think about the added zeros. The plates are a little uh, less stiff, a little more flexible than something like the Vapor Carbons. Now the, or Vapor Carbons, the Vapor Untouchables. Now the Vapor Untouchables use carbon in the plate, which is going to be a little stiffer and what you guys are going to feel um, in the plate. Now these are a little more broken in so you can see how they, how they bend. Now if I was to compare these to the added zeros, these bend a lot more. You can see how easy these bend compared to the Nikes. Now when you think about the unarmors, they used to have a flexible plate similar to the added zeros. They've now stiffened that up for this year. You can see how stiff that plate is again compared to the Adidas uh, or the Nike. So that's something, one trade-off that you guys are going to have. The next is going to be the durability of the coating on the plate. Now they put a little warning label here. Uh, this says, you know, it talks about battle scars that this is going to wear off if you use them. I think I use these cleats twice in turf and you can already see how this is the discoloring because of the coating on the plastic. So that's something that, you know, your cleats are never going to look as pretty as uh, they are when you purchase them, but that's not something that I really found with Adidas or Nike. Um, so I'm not sure what coating they have in here, but it is going to rub off. Just know that when you buy the cleat. And the last thing is I talked about the 11 different designs. Now I picked the black colorway to review for you guys because it goes with everything, but check out, go to the East Bay website in the link and check out the 11 different colors. Now, you know, design is subjective. I don't think this is the best design. I love the silhouette of this cleat. This is a very sexy silhouette, looks good on foot, but I'm not sure what's going on with all these, you know, spirals and circles here. Again, it's subjective, but it's not something that, that I like in the design. So I wish they would do something to, uh, I don't know, make it a, a change the design a little bit, uh, make it more attractive. Um, so that is the, the last trade off, but they definitely look better even with this, this design on foot than they do uh, in my hands. So what positions would I recommend these cleats for? This is a speed cleat, uh, just like all the ones I compared to in this video. Um, so, you know, definitely your receivers, your cornerbacks, uh, any of your speed backs. Um, running backs can use this as well. Because of the uh, thicker padding in here, you're gonna feel pretty good. It's gonna support uh, heavier players with the type of foam. So linebackers, uh, outside middle, you can use them as well. Safeties, you can use them. So it is a very versatile cleat. Uh, but it is going to be a speed cleat. Uh, so that is the review on this. I want to hear from you guys uh, who have this cleat, who have these UA Spotlights, who have some of the other cleats that came out this year. Which ones do you like better? What do you like about this? Uh, how do they feel? And have you tried using the insert in other cleats? Uh, definitely comment below. Let me know. And if you like this video, remember to give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.